blessing CEO, our most expensive controversial relationship therapist. She was released from police custody the other day and she came up with a post. Chai of grace, thank you lovers. What failed me? My hands still shaking, long speech loading. <laughs> and people were like, blessing, you have just been released and you want to bring another long speech again? This might lend you back to jail. But before we get to this long speech, you are welcome to the Blanche Ingram TV show. If you are new on this channel, do me a favor to subscribe, like, and share, turn on your notification so anytime I upload a video, you will receive notification. Before we get to this long speech, I will just give you a little about Blessing CEO. So Blessing Okoro Inkiruka is a social media influencer from Ebonyi State in Nigeria. She is known for her very disputatious takes on relationship, love, sex, and current happenings. <laughs> Every trending topic, Blessing CEO, will be found inside. She is a single mother of two, having left her marriage after three years on account of alleged domestic violence. Blessing first came to major limelight, well, I will call it negative limelight, about four years ago in 2019, when she flaunted a mansion on social media, claiming it was hers, and it turned out that the house didn't belong to her. The house belongs to a Nigerian, China-based businessman called Onyeze. He got her arrested, publicly disgraced. I mean, she was made to sit on the floor, she was humiliated, and she was eventually made to tender a public apology, denouncing ownership of the house. It was such a very disgraceful and messy situation, trust me. But Blessing CEO, <laughs> she's not called CEO for no reason, Blessing capitalized on the buzz that this whole scandal created to her own benefit. She used the attention to gather both fame and fortune for herself. So that was how Blessing CEO became sort of famous, disturbing the peace of the internet every now and then. She eventually joined the BBL gang. <laughs> BBL gang. And she was very open about her journey to surgery and liposuction and increment of yash and all of that. She informed the public that she had her procedure there in Lekki and it cost her 3 million naira. Trust Blessing CEO. She ain't gonna hide nothing. So Blessing is the kind of girl that enjoys controversy and capitalizes on every trending issue to catch crews. But the question is, should everything be crews, even when it involves the loss of a life? Let me run you through the incident that has led to the most recent arrest of Blessing CEO and her pending court case. So we all remember the case of automobile dealer, car seller, IVD, Ikechuku, <laughs> remember? After Bimbo's untimely death, while a large majority of social media users took to their pages to mourn Bimbo, to sympathize with her family and do all of that, Blessing CEO chose to do the direct opposite. She chose to troll late Bimbo only a few hours after her death and even went ahead to troll late Bimbo's sister, known as Mama Jazz. Simple. So the family that is coming out right now to look for who to blame and who to drag and who to sue and who to shut up. Where were you when the girl was looking for somebody to talk to? Where were you people? Suddenly people are family, you are jumping. It's only when it gets to trouble that some, some of this family jump out. But the reason why I'm making this video is to clarify the lies that Bimbo's elder sister, Mama Jazzy, is talking. I don't have anything against Mama Jazzy. If she comes for me, I will come for her. The only thing I am telling Mama Jazzy, because you are going to be on, I know you're on this live video, or your people will come and tell you. So Mama Jazzy, this is for you. The only thing I'm saying is stop lying on IVD's name. I know you have personal problem, but stop saying that IVD killed his wife. That's a wrong narrative, at least for the children. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Mama Jazzy, before your younger sister died, you blocked her and she blocked you. You were not in talking terms. How come suddenly she died? You are started shouting. Yeah. Did you not block your sister? Were you talking to your sister? Any day I see you, I will look you in your eyes like this and tell you to your face. Did you not block your sister, Mama Jazzy? I lie. Any day where she went for court or for police station, I will look you for face, ask you whether you not block your sister. 
I think you'll be meeting a lot of women because on my DM, so many people are sending me DM and saying, avoid Mama Jazzy. Avoid. I hear that you are an intimidator. You're a woman that intimidates people. You've met the wrong person. I think people leave Mama Jazzy. Oh, that woman is trouble. Oh. I say you don't jam your type. You know, say when you jam your type, they say you are trouble. You have met a different kind of trouble. Any day I see you, any day you bring... So let us read a little about what Blessing CEO had to say about Bimbo and her sister. Let's ask Mama Jazz where her father is. Their father had exactly the same issue with their mother, Ebele, and he ran away for his dear life. Ivy's crime was that he was not man enough to run away. The family of late Bimbo is after Ivy's properties and life especially her elder sister, Mama Jazz. Bimbo and IVD are well-known people in Lagos, and it's not a hidden fact that even in their estates, that Bimbo is violent. Everybody knows how she breaks a bottle on her husband's head on a daily. Mm. Bimbo killed herself and has always wanted to kill herself right from childhood. Evidence loading. All the voice notes and evidence will be on my YouTube and Facebook. Execution Council told the courts that Blessing CEO injured the reputation of Mama Jazz and the late Bimbo by exposing them to hatred, contempt, and ridicule. But the one that Blessing CEO is going down for now is the criminal leg of it. It is a criminal offense and it is punishable by one year imprisonment in the event that you didn't know that your publication was false and punishable by two years imprisonment when you knew that what you published was false and went ahead to publish it anyways. The complete defense to libel is truth. So if Blessing CEO can prove that what she said, her allegations were true, then the court and the law would have nothing to hold her on. So the question is, can Blessing CEO prove that everything she said about the late Bimbo and her family were indeed true? Blessing CEO was to be remanded in prison, <laughs> in prison custody, let her go and cool her feet there. But luckily for her, she was granted bail to the tune of 10 million naira, and I believe that right now she is working to perfect her bail conditions. So a lot of people are quite pleased that Bimbo's family took this up. Let us not even forget that even very shortly after Bimbo died, Blessing CEO started flaunting Bimbo's man <laughs> and started basking in the rumor that her and IVD were dating. So people are very pleased that Bimbo's family are taking this up legally with Blessing CEO. They believe that it will serve as a discouragement, as a deterrent to her if she makes it out and to others like her who derive joy in catching crews with just about everything let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that this sudden arrest and release of blessing ceo has taught her a bitter lesson do you think that she has learned the hard way do you think that she will stop approaching issues the way she used to do before oh she will continue doing her work on social media tell me in the comment section put your opinions there back to blessing ceo's life on social media after being released from police custody as i told you in the beginning of the video when she was being released she made this post on social media i will read again child of god thank you lovers what fear me my hands still shaking long speech loading we have been waiting for this long speech like forever but do you know what blessing ceo has decided to be the facebook or the social media pastor do you think that why angel blessing ceo decided to give her life to christ or it's just a personal decision tell me what you think on the comment section tell me what you think about blessing ceo's behavior after being released from police custody let me know in the comment section so guys, 
If you come across this video and find it informative, do me a favor to subscribe, like, and share it, and on your notification so anytime I upload a video, you will receive notification. And to my returning subscribers, much love. See you in our next video. Bye bye.